What's going on again, guys? It's your boy, the Power Rangers guy, back at you again with another video. In this video, Saban Brand shuts down. Let's take a look at this. Make sure to stay tuned. So, Saban, it was announced yesterday that Saban Brands would be shutting down. And let's take a look at the article in which... Everything is mentioned about how they'll be shutting down and what, what will be happening to Saban in a total overview. Alright, so let's let's read this article. Uh, the Los Angeles Business Journal newspaper reported on Wednesday that Saban Brands Company will shut down on July 2nd, citing a worker adjustment retraining notification letter sent to the state of California and dated May 1st. As part of the shutdown, the company is laying off 60 employees with positions ranging from creative director to financial analysis to director of accounting. Saban Brands will lay off 51 of the 60 employees on July 2nd. It's a lot of people, yo. Saban Capital Group, the parent company of Saban Brands, will remain in operation. Hasbro announced on May 1st that they will acquire Power Rangers and several other brands from Saban's properties. That, that agreement, which is expected to close in the second quarter of 2018, includes all of Saban's related intellectual properties, category rights, and content libraries. So everything that they own is going to Hasbro. Hasbro was already named the master toy license for the Power Rangers franchise and will take over for the previous license holder, Bandai America, on April 1st, 2018. The U.S. $22.25 million uh, Hasbro already paid in this deal will be credited against the purchase price for the brand. Saban's founder, Haim Saban, will continue to serve as a consultant role for the Power Rangers property. The Hollywood Reporter reported in February that Saban and Hasbro chairman, CEO Brian Goldner, are longtime friends. Nickelodeon is currently airing Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel for the second uh, sequel to the Power Rangers Ninja Steel series and the 25th entry to the Power Rangers franchise. The series premiered on January 27th. Uh, Saban Brands had recently renewed its partnership with Nickelodeon until 2021. A Power Rangers film opened in the United States in March 2017. The film's director, Dean Israelite, reported last summer that Lionsgate and Saban were in talks for a sequel. Okay, well, okay, that article. So, I can see why Saban would shut down. They've been making a dollar last as long as they've been stretching a penny ever since they opened in 93. And which isn't a bad thing, but I could see why they would be shutting down. And I'm glad Hasbro has Power Rangers now, but I never, I didn't expect Saban to shut down, but I can see it happening. So I don't think it'll really affect Power Rangers because Hasbro owns it now and Saban will stay as a consultant on the show. So we'll see what happens with that. Let me know, again, before I end this video, I just want to say thank you to Saban Brands for starting Power Rangers in 93. And as much as we've gotten bad seasons out of the Neo Saban era, um, let's just thank them for keeping the pet legacy going because Disney wanted to end it. And I don't think anybody else would have picked up the Power Rangers franchise. I could be wrong about that, but we, we need to thank them for continuing continuing the legacy. But I'm happy Hasbro has it now, and I'm excited to see what they do with the franchise. Um, thank you to Saban for all the wonderful years of Power Rangers. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and as always, may the power protect you.